I'm OEA President Scott Tomorrow. Time for my weekly update. As more of our members and students across Ohio are going back to school this week, uh, we know that we're concerned, as we have been uh, all along, about the safety of our students, of our mem members and families in our communities, especially those students under the age of 12 who have not had the opportunity to be vaccinated uh, with this Delta variant uh, spreading and having a particularly uh, dangerous impact on younger people. Uh, and so we continue to advocate for full in-person instruction, but making sure that the conditions are there to allow that to happen safely. If we want schools to be open, if we want to avoid uh, major shutdowns like you're seeing in some other states and like we experienced in many of our schools last year, then we have to make sure that we're guarding against the need for quarantining by having as many people as possible vaccinated and making sure that we're also following public health guidance when it comes to masking and distancing. Uh, it's not fun, it's not convenient. We're gonna get through this together. Uh, we need to continue to advocate for the safety of our students and each other as we move forward. Again, being at back to school time, this is a time where we're uh, engaging with uh, new members across the state. And again, hearing uh, great stories from locals all across uh, Ohio in terms of new positions because of an influx of dollars, including American Rescue Plan funds from the federal government. Uh, also, uh, better school funding at the state level is, is stabilizing some budgets, allowing for reduction in class size, allowing for more counselors and nurses and things like that uh, to make sure that we're meeting the needs of all our kids. It's an opportunity to welcome more people into our union. Uh, we have seen in local after local that we visited that uh, you're doing a great job in terms of new employee orientations, uh, getting uh, you know almost everybody who's who's coming into our profession joining the association. Uh, you're engaging on a one-on-one -on -one basis with our returning members, and uh, while we don't have numbers yet, uh, all signs are very positive. Uh, also uh, indicating that those who are seeking to undermine us by promoting opt-out campaigns are utterly failing in their efforts. One of the, a couple of the victories that we're celebrating, one on the local level, congratulations to the Champion Education Association on winning a fair contract, uh, staying unified and making sure that you have a contract as you go back to school this week. Uh, also, uh, I had an opportunity to visit the members of the East Cleveland Education Association this week. They're also continuing to negotiate for a fair contract. And because of a success that we had in the legislature this summer, they are working with their Board of Education on an improvement plan to get them out from under state takeover. We are providing uh, staff support, expertise, uh, resources of all kinds to Youngstown, Lorraine, and East Cleveland to make sure that they're successful uh, in their school improvement planning process, that we're engaging members, that we're making decisions that are good for our students uh, as we return voice to our local communities. Finally, I just wanted to, to encourage all of you to participate uh, in one way or another, whether you can do it in person or, or uh, submit written testimony to the Ohio Redistrict, Redistricting Commission. Uh, there are a series of hearings happening all across the state. I'm gonna be testifying in Dayton next week, um, but there's other hearings happening uh, in uh, cities all across Ohio. Uh, this is a chance to raise your voice, demand fair districts, demand an end to partisan gerrymandering, following the Ohio Constitution, the new rules that have been put in place by our voters, and making sure that we are choosing our leaders, not politicians are choosing their voters. When we have fair districts, we have better education policy. That means less testing, that means better funding, uh, that means fewer diversion of resources to charters and vouchers. Uh, it's up to all of us to make sure that we work together so that we don't have continued extremism in the way our lines are drawn and the way policies are enacted at the, at the state house. That's all I have for this week. Thanks for all you're doing. Make it a great week.